Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Ilan Buganim, as written here. I'm leading uh, the data division in uh, Bank Lumi, and uh, actually the data division in charge of few areas. Uh, inside our division, we have uh, Pepper as a bank that uh, is a personalized bank, um, the marketing and sales, and also the uh, data arm of the bank that in charge to promote the bank in order to make him much more personalized. So what we will take today and try to speak is about Netflix, Facebook, banking, and few things that connect them. Uh, and in few seconds, you will see and you will understand why we're speaking about Netflix and Facebook while speaking also about banks and how we see them as something that is doing few things right and few things wrong. And we want to learn what's good and what's wrong in order to do it properly. So let's speak before we start about three very important numbers in banking. What we can see here is that 73% of the population um, in the United States, which are considered millennials, agree to take or to consume banking from non-banks, like Amazon, Google, Facebook, you name it. means that they see this, these giants as trusted enough in order to provide them banking. 36% of this uh, population, or the banking population, consume already banking services from any other institution which is not their primary bank. And 49% says that they are not satisfied with their bank or that their bank do not meet their needs. So these three numbers are a huge alert, a red alert to the banking because this is saying that our customers are not satisfied from the product that we're pro uh, providing to them. And we need to do something if we want to still stay relevant, let's say five years from now, 10 years from now, or more. So why actually they, don't, they, they are not satisfied? What is the main problem? So before starting, we need to understand that uh, the banks today has a huge challenge. We need to provide banking for all people that do not consume digital, and we need to consume or to provide banking to very new millennials and uh, Z generation that consume banking in a total different way comparing to what it used to be. And this new population that uh, so far we're saying they are up to 38 will be very soon the main workforce, and they are not satisfied because they are used to consume much better application. They are used to consume their application or their uh, data or their experiences from Facebook, from Amazon, from Netflix, which are making or which are doing a very good job. So they are comparing the old banks with that and they are saying, you know what? It's not good enough. So before understanding what is not good enough, let's try to understand few aspects in Netflix and in Facebook to understand how they actually harnessed the data to promote and to provide a very good experience, and also what are the bad things and the trust problem that you have when you are owning the data of the customer. So we'll start with uh, Netflix, which uh, actually giving, definitely giving a very good experience to the customers. You can s just see here that uh, Netflix is a market leader in a very, very, very competitive market of the content. And if you see the blue graph there, this is the millennials. Among the millennials, you see that Netflix is, is much more dominant, means that the new people, the youngs, prefer likes what Netflix provides to them, and we need to understand why it happens, why they like it. So let's see, I try to summarize only four aspects, it's probably more than that, but only four aspects that customer likes in Netflix more than in any other place. First of all, if Netflix has 150 million users, it's actually 150 million applications. 
And, uh, you know, uh, probably many of you knows Mary Meeker, which is uh, one of the uh, best uh, 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 analysis, uh, analysts in the data area. And she's saying that uh, the data is actually the new application. And Netflix actually perform it. If you open a banking application, all of us, and you'll open the same banking application. Let's assume that each one of us is in bank A. Everybody will open their application. We will see exactly the same application, exactly the, fe the same features. The only, difference, the only difference will be the numbers. We'll have a different balance. This is not really to create a personalization, to create different numbers. Netflix, it's totally different application. You enter to the application, it's totally different content. You are in a totally separate area comparing to, your, to other customers. And in order to do so, Netflix has 2,000 clusters behind the scene that try to match between you to one of these clusters. Each cluster will have a totally different experience. In the morning, you can belong to one cluster. In the evening, you can belong to a totally different cluster. And as such, when they promote you movies or they promote you their content, it might be that the same content will be with different pictures. Why? Because you are you like comedy, so they will promote you with uh, they will present you the Goodwill Hunting with this picture, and if you are uh, like the rom a romance, so they will present the second picture. So they are very sophisticated to have different trailers, per depending on your preference. And furthermore, maybe the highest level of per personalization is actually not just to take your content and the customers and to do a match between them but to create the content that the customers like. And that's what they have done with the House of Cards. They took six years of data, they analyzed this data, and they saw in exactly where people uh, push on the uh, forward button, when they watch, when they didn't. And according to that, they understood the preferences of the customer, and they created a new movie that was a great success. Everybody was surprised how someone out of uh, Hollywood is uh, actually introducing such a successful uh, movie, but for them it wasn't uh, definitely a surprise because of this analysis that they have done. So let's go fast to, um, uh, to Facebook because uh, we need to hurry up a bit. So let's speak about Facebook, definitely one of the best users of data, but also someone that did few mistakes. Facebook is definitely another market leader. If you will take together Facebook, uh, uh, WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, together, it's actually a monopoly. A monopoly in its area. But sometimes it's dangerous to be Facebook. What happens with Cambr Cambridge Analytics? Actually, Facebook exposed few APIs, and open APIs, what we called in, our, you know, in the banking, which is the trends where the things are going to. Someone which is very smart, a professor from Cambridge, actually developed a model, a very sophisticated model, that using 70 likes that you're making, he will know about you better than your friends. With 150 likes, he will know about you better than your parents. And with 300 uh, likes, he will know about your preferences better than your spouse. Amazing. Unfortunately, these uh, uh, information, with the information of customers, were sold or they were sold afterwards to Russians and others that used this data in order to manipula manipulate uh, the elections in America, which is actually the power of data and the misuse of data that you can make when you are not uh, uh, keeping the data of your customers. So in order to sum summarize what Facebook and Netflix are doing, definitely, first of all, you will say they are sitting in the leisure and culture. It's something that we like to consume. We like to love it, rather than banking that uh, is actually sitting on your needs. We don't like things that are on our own needs. We like things on our pleasure, leisure. But they are constantly changing. All the time they are changing things in order that you don't feel that you get tired of them. And they provide truly personal experience, which is totally individual. Every customer has totally different application comparing to his friends. And the big question here is whether banking can be personalized 
an interesting platform as Netflix and Facebook. And this is actually the biggest uh, question. And not sure that we have the answer to that. But definitely, we need to try to take it to this direction and not give in before starting. So having said that it may be, be there, let's see what are the areas that the banking, our bank, can take and do much better in order to do it more cl or closer to the spirit of the new application that use the data properly. So um, I'll skip about uh, all these uh, bullets, personal banking, definitely how to adapt to your customer. And I'll go to a few examples. Let's take the sales. We're selling many products. How do we sell them? We usually advertise in uh, uh, the TV. We have few products. We tell to everybody, this is our products. Please consume them. We don't even try to adopt, to change the product, not to speak in the right language. We just say, use our products. This is not the right way to sell. The right way to sell is to understand the journey of a customer, to give him value through this journey, and then to react, to act on the right moments in order to sell him something. Because you bring him value, then he trusts you and you can sell to him also. For example, if I take the journey of travel, I know that someone is about to travel very early, very early in, the, in, in the journey. If I'll bring you value by connecting you to uh, the right insurance, to the right currency, to the right things, I can walk with you two weeks and through these two weeks to give you more value, our products. This is the right way to do sales, to do it very personalized. Not to sell everybody the same, but to target the population that needs something, to provide the needs, to provide them the products that they need. Like, by the way, Netflix. 70% of the content that you consume in, ne in Netflix is actually a content that Netflix uh, suggests you, and not content that you can and you uh, actually consume by yourself. Call center, very, very boring place. But let's assume that you are calling to the call center and someone knows who are you and play you the music that you like and know why you call because definitely there, we know why you are calling. If you forget your ATM or you lost your, AT, your card in the ATM, we need to know that. Why to exhaust you in eight minutes, six minutes and just ask you so many questions in order to provide you the service. We can do much more if we know you, we know the data, and we use it much, pro much better to give you much better personalized experience. Let's speak about the application. We saw Pepper on, on, on stage. I think this is a much progress than the other. Pepper is our digital bank. And Pepper has a very nice platform. It has a feed, like Instagram and like uh, Facebook. And true, in, in this feed, we will bring you only the feed items that belongs to you, that are personalized to you. Things that you have done, you uh, uh, swiped your card, will give you information on what you swiped, what others like yourself did. Uh, if there is a content, banking content will send according to your needs. We see that you are traveling abroad, we'll send you content that will describe you how to manage yourself better when you are doing so. so Pepper is already personalized, but needs to be much more, much more accurate. And they, this is the journey that we're going at the moment. And Goodies. Goodies is in the end like small Netflix. We suggest you benefits. But when you enter to Goodies, you, Goodies, you will see the same benefits to everybody. Why not to learn you? Why not to understand who are you and to give you the, the Goodies that probably you need, that probably you want to consume? And this is actually a new thinking that is the new banking that should follow these amazing applications that uh, uh, we saw before. So definitely my answer to what I've seen is that uh, the banking much run much faster uh, to the direction that was marked by these big giants because in the end, this will be the competition. The competition of today does not exist anymore. It's a totally new market. Thank you very much. Thank you.